hello everyone i hope you're doing well today we have so much new makeup to talk about i feel like there's so much new makeup coming out i have so much new makeup here in front of me and it was kind of hard to decide <laughs> what to do so i thought we would try on so many of the new releases in here i thought i could give you swatches of this stuff i have the new kaleidos collection i have the new tower 28 concealers i have some other palettes i have a lot here in front of me and so i hope you guys are down to create a look today i kept going back and forth between doing this video or new beauty launches because there are so many new launches coming out the new natasha denona palette the new urban decay naked palette like there's a lot to talk about so i'm planning on having this go up and then having a new beauty launches very soon after this hopefully within the next couple of days if not like right after this I need to already start putting makeup on I'm gonna start with this hello fab I'm going with a normal primer today that I know and love actually I haven't used this one in a while because I'm testing this foundation the makeup forever HD skin I really have loved the HD skin like formulations in the past so I'm hoping that I like this one and I'm hoping the color looks good anyway I'm telling you what my plan was but also giving a bit of a caveat because um, we are getting a hurricane here which is very very uncommon I mean it's not gonna be a hurricane it's gonna be a tropical storm remnants kind of so we'll see how it, it is I mean I'm like preparing for whatever but hopefully it isn't too bad at least where I am but obviously I hope it's not bad for like anyone but it seems like it's going to be a pretty historic event so we'll see how power is how internet is all that stuff i just have no idea and that's why i'm saying we'll see when that video actually gets up i just want to get at least this one up today so let's get this foundation on this is the reformulation i have the shade y218 or 1n06 so it looks a little maybe a little dark but i think it'll work out and i am just going to dot this on i'm going to use a beauty blender or like a beauty sponge because i always get the best like result with that and since it's my first time trying this i thought I'm gonna give it the best, you know, chance it can have. But I really honestly cannot wait to talk about the new releases with you guys. I don't know if it's because we're gearing up for holiday or what, but you know, regardless of if I wanna get some of this stuff, at least there's been, I feel like a lot of new announcements, things like that happening, which is very exciting, I think. And I feel like there's a lot of major brands coming out with like major collections or, you know, more huge palettes, I feel like, or namesake palettes maybe is a better word does that even make sense i don't know but actually talking about the foundation i'm applying it looks really good so far on my skin it's not matte but it's not like dewy i've been using the danessa myrix which looks very dewy on me and so i've been just used to that finish and this definitely looks like skin but it is more mattifying for sure i think the color is okay it might be like a little bit I don't know I think it's matching my neck and like shoulders and stuff so that works but I'm a little surprised at how it's picking up on some of my dry patches I would say my skin's just in okay condition right now it's not like ideal at least to me so my nose can be a pretty tough a tough area okay and I definitely am seeing it pick up in like the creases on my nose sometimes it's hard to with my little what is this nose piercing why can't i think of that but nothing too out of the ordinary to be honest like i hope you guys can see all that i want to show you what my skin really looks like in real life you know what i mean i think overall the foundation is really nice i like how thin it looks like actually sitting on here and i do like that it's not super dewy i'm hopeful that you know throughout the day maybe more of my oils will come through more shine will come through but it's not going to be overly dewy off the bat which is so nice i do have it clinging to a little bit of the perioral dermatitis that i have but again it's not honestly too bad like when i think of like the state of my skin it's really just not the best so for that i think this looks really good i'm pretty happy with it but i just have noticed lately in general I've been having a lot of like foundations in my nose crease, which I hate. That's like the one thing I hate so much, but my nose crease like specifically, ever since I can remember putting foundation on, that's like always been an issue, unfortunately. So anyway, okay, that's what it looks like. I'll keep us zoomed in though, because now we're gonna talk about the new Tower 28 concealer. I believe this launched today, so I'll have it down below. I got sent this in PR, which was so exciting. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw these. I got the two shades BH and BU. One is one point 
2.0 and one's 2.0, so let me swatch them. This is the lighter of the two, so that's 1.0, or BH, and then BU is the 2.0 shade. That's it there. I've been using this one because it's pretty close to my skin tone. It's not too brightening, so let's try that. So far, I've been really liking this. It's a thin texture, but it has a lot of coverage, I think, anyway. Like, I'm very happy with it. I don't find that it, like, looks cakey under my eyes and I find that it sets down pretty nice on its own as well. I'm gonna do one side of the brush and one side with the sponge so I'm gonna use a sponge on this side but yeah so far I'm really happy and it's $22 which I also think is so nice. It's such an affordable price especially for a product at Sephora. I mean I don't deal with super bad like dark circles under my eyes but I feel like it almost gives like an illuminated effect. I don't like pick up any discernible shimmer in them like they don't look shimmery but every time I've worn this when I look at my under eye I'm like wow it's really bright under there even when I'm using the darker of the two shades that I have oh I said I'd use a brush well maybe I won't maybe I'll just use the sponge because I feel like it blended out so nice it's very skin like it doesn't leave like a glowy or again dewy finish it feels more almost like satin and again there's something about it that's like illuminating while not being shimmery but it almost has like a light reflecting quality I don't know how that's really possible I don't know what's doing that but I can just tell you that is what happens every time I wear it definitely a concealer I feel like to check out like I'm pretty dang happy with this or like an easy everyday concealer with like medium coverage I'm very very happy with it well that's the base for now we need a bronze up and I am so sad you guys because I had a bronzer from phytosurgeons the cream bronzer that just came out I bought that I was sticking it aside for a video like this tell me why I can't find it my <laughs> My life's a mess, you guys. Naturally, you guys know. <laughs> we might need to do a little clean together or something soon. So we're gonna use a different bronzer today. I've been saving these Chantecaille because I wanted to film with them, but I'm using them today. <laughs> no more waiting. So this I think is from the summer collection. I got these on discount and that's the reason I decided to go for it. It's like a glowy powder that works as a bronzer, hopefully for me. That's what I'm wanting it to do. And I think it's gonna look stunning. I already am like, yeah, that's nice. I love a little glowy bronzer, you guys know. I've been loving the Kosas one, the baked one I got earlier this year. I mean, it's not even domed anymore. You wouldn't have known it was domed. This has some pigment or more pigment than I thought, you know. I thought it was gonna be more sheer even. But I've been loving that and I feel like any opportunity I can to get like a glowy bronzer, I just am a sucker, I'm a sucker. And so I was thinking this bronzer would work for that reason for me. Definitely not a need by any means, but a nice product. I think that was really simple, super easy. I feel like that's kind of what I'm channeling for this look. I have such an exciting palette. This is like the main star of the show I wanna put on my eyes. I know I have the new Kaleido stuff, but I'm gonna give you swatches and all of that, but I just felt like the lip product are more the star of the show to me anyway from that collection so that's what I wanted to focus on whereas for eyes this industrial palette you guys <laughs> Oh my gosh, if you've been on my Instagram, if not, I might pop a photo or a video here. Stunning, stunning. When I talked about this, I think in the new beauty launches, I can't tell you the amount of people that were either like, please try it, I really wanna know if it's worth it, or you guys being like, you need it. Like, it's so pretty. So it was like, okay, it, it has to be mine. So we're gonna put at least one of those shimmers on it. We're gonna do something with that. We'll use a little bit of the mattes probably. I have a couple other palettes to show. For there being the death of the palette, at least what I said, <laughs> these indie brands, they're releasing tons of stuff because I have so many palettes that I feel like I could share with you or do an eye look with there's just so many anyway let's put a blush on I am gonna use one of the blushes from khaki's collection with finding Ferdinand I got sent these as PR so excited for khaki and I use the shade I think aperitif in a video in my last video so check that out if you want to but I thought I'd use one of the more neutral colors Ooh, this is Olay so pretty <laughs> trying not to touch them because I really want to film a video but again like I use natural lighting for those videos and now that we're going into this storm I don't know when I'm gonna actually be able to film these so uh, I think I don't know if I want to do latte this is latte this is Olay I think I'm gonna go with Olay so I think it's slightly deeper I've just been in general so excited about the new stuff coming out and I hope I can be helpful in letting you know what I think is good but but this blush is so pretty it's blending out so easy it's definitely not as I mean it has the pigment but but it's definitely not as intense as like the red. Although you guys know I've been loving like red blushes, orangey blushes, any of that. I just think it is so pretty, so fresh, especially in these last few 
I feel like weeks of summer that we're gonna get. It's like the most do this look has had because all of the foundation products, all of the concealer, like all those things, even though the bronzer was shimmery, this has like that actual like do dewy look to it so beautiful and i feel like it blended on so nice over everything so that's olay i do also have the kaleidos blushes i might top off with these and i'll swatch them when i talk about the palette i think we can go into eyebrows and i know i usually do a kaleidos like dedicated video but for this collection it's called alma viva and i was so excited to see a new collection coming out from kaleidos you guys know I, you know, have loved Kaleidos. And so I was so excited. And when the photos dropped, like, I will not lie, it's so similar. You know, at least in photos, it is different in person, but it looked so similar to Smoky Nostalgia. Like it almost feels like Smoky Nostalgia 2.0 uh, to me, like very similar inspirations. The packaging is stunning. It's a beautiful collection, but I just didn't feel like strong enough to dedicate a whole video to it to be honest so i'm so sorry if you were looking for that but of course i want to get you guys swatches so i put it in here so i hope that's okay i just didn't necessarily want to do a whole video on it oh no i'm scared okay we're trying a new brow gel today new one from jones road this was sent to me um it's looking thick i don't know if you guys can see this oh my gosh it's like look at it gloopy gloopy but like not liquidy gloopy like pasty gloopy like <laughs> i'm scared i'm scared we'll see together i'm i'm wiping some off i'm sorry it's too terrifying but there are longer pieces so maybe that can be to like brush it out let's start in the tail this is the shade blonde i feel like it's a pretty blonde color so far and i just did a little bit of a light pencil work beforehand Okay, it, for how scared I was, not as scary because the bristles are pretty long. So it's like not getting too glooped out, I guess. I don't know, it's a little gloopy, guys. It is giving more of like a hair look, which is nice. I wonder how this looks on camera. This might be one that works even better with time or something. I don't know, pretty gloopy. I'll keep you updated on that one. At least color-wise, it looks okay. It's a little warm, but I've actually been leaning toward a lighter brow and even a little bit more warmth um, just right now for some reason, I don't know. The brow color thing, I feel like on camera is one of those situations where it looks very different on camera than it does in real life some things just look way better on camera than they do in person or vice versa and trying to navigate that can be tough when I'm trying to tell you what like is real all right let me give you some swatches of the Alma Viva I have the two quads here so this is the quad in Twilight Rush which I'm so happy they put little stickers on the back now the packaging on this is stunning it's really really beautiful and it's the same as the other quads with just like a slight variation so this one's Twilight Rush and then the other one which is more neutral less purple this is venus trap so really pretty three mattes in this one with one like shimmer this one has two shimmers and two mattes i want to get you swatches of these first so this is the venus trap it's a really pretty like neutral cool leaning quad the mattes so far seem so beautiful like really creamy the kaleidos mattes same as the mattes i feel like from the last collection with like these purples and stuff which i'll give you some comparison don't get me wrong but that's venus trap very very pretty and then this is twilight rush sorry for my i feel like my fingernails even just look so scary right now and twilight rush is definitely purple but it's like more of those cool like smoky purples there's like almost this duochromatic shade in here it's kind of like a gray based purple i feel like we've seen that one they are not exact they're just very uh similar vibes for sure like all of these quads i feel like from this the smoky nostalgia or really like like this one too from the last collection they all just have like i feel like a similar inspiration and so it almost feels like they could be combined into like a 15 pan palette or something like they all are that cohesive but let me hold up some comparisons this is flowing haze and this is the new twilight rush you can see these have browns it's not the same it's not the same but very similar like even these two shimmers that are supposed to be like different one has like a golden hue to it as well like a golden sheen i believe that's in the older palette and then in the newer palette it doesn't have that gold but again very just similar they're just similar i was just shocked i was a little like haven't we seen this before, you know? This is Glowing Iris and Twilight Rush, very different here. I feel like this one is very distinct, the most colorful definitely out of all the quads. And then going to the Smoky Nostalgia, this is the black 
quad, like the more smoky quad. I don't know the names of them off the top of my head. So definitely different there. And this is it compared to the more brown quad from the Smoky Nostalgia. I think it's called like Cold Brew or something like that. Something with coffee, I think. Uh, but definitely different there. When we put Venus Trap next to it, these I feel like are the most similar out of all of the quads. Again, not the same at all. And when it comes to the shimmers, this is also where I'm like, they're just so similar. I just wish, there's so many other tones out there, you know? So this one is from the uh, Smoky Nostalgia Collection, the Cold Brew or Coffee Quad. The shimmer in here is more intense and really PC or pieced out, like very sparkly um, and almost looks metallic, like little pieces of glitter. It doesn't feel like glitter, but it looks more like true glitter than it does like those kind of shimmery particles, if that makes sense. So they're different, but I just feel like tonally very similar. I'll swatch it next to this gray or silver, I guess it is, um, just to show you the difference there. But again, it's a different finish. These two from the first quads from the Smoky Nostalgia definitely have a different finish than the sparkle that's in this newer quad. Like it's still super sparkly, but they're just, they feel more delicate almost. And I think I maybe prefer that, especially again, cause they're so similar in tone, not exact, but pretty similar around. I was just, again, a little bit shocked that everything was so, so similar. Here's Venus Trap held up next to the other Smoky Nostalgia quad, the black one with like the matte black, the kind of gray smoky tones, you know, different for sure, different looks, but definitely very neutral as well. We're seeing Kaleido still do basically neutrals slash more wearable tones or lighter tones. And that's definitely being reflected in this collection. And we'll talk about that with the blushes too. I mean, there's really no reason necessarily to compare these two, but Glowing Iris and Venus Trap Trap. And then last, this is Flowing Haze and this one is Venus Trap. So again, I just feel like very cohesive between all of these. If these are your tones, you might be just like, hell yeah. And again, like I think this is so pretty. The quality seems so good. So it's more just like, what do you want? But I think when I look at it as a collection coming from that a same brand, I was just hoping that we'd get like a little more variation in the colors coming out since they don't release tons and tons of eyeshadow palettes. It would would just be cool to see some other color stories or even just some different neutral tones exploring those I don't know I guess that's what I was expecting but before we get into the eye look I'll have timestamps and all that down below so you can switch around if you don't want to like see the intricacies but let's talk about the blushes really fast these are all very light overall they're definitely giving like K beauty vibes like these remind me a lot of the different blushes I could get off of yes style things like that so this one's called pale rose very very light this one's called pearl bliss it does have a little bit of satin super super creamy again nothing wrong with the quality of these powders I think they feel super high quality and very luxe it's more just like tones and colors I wasn't maybe expecting so this one here almost looks kind of like a light bronzer that one's called hot shot and then angel wings I know it looks really light here and it is really light but I found it is more peachy actually in the swatch and on my skin I feel like it's easier to show the swatches this way so hopefully you can see it this one's pale pink pearl rose I think that's hot shot and angel wings so very, 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 very light. These blush styles aren't really for me. Like they're not my style at all. And I know that they also, you know, only work for so many people, even on me. I'm not sure how much they work as like true blushes. I know these powders can be used like other ways though, like under the eyes and in different formats, but just not quite what I was expecting. I would love to see some really beautiful, like romantic blushes or a more filled out line of blushes, like have these, but also have other ones too, which is kind of what we got from the Smoky Nostalgia blushes that came out. I feel like those had a lot more color range, at least in them. So those just really weren't personally for me, but quality wise, they seem nice. And they're that kind of soft powdery matte, which I do really love that formula in their blushes from the Smoky nostalgia like it feels like that same formula all right that all being said let's get into my eyes I can't wait to put on the industrial palette like I cannot wait to put that on my eyeballs first I'm priming using the alter ego primer and I also do have this new palette from alter ego like this is another launch that came out the sakura palette this is a dupe for the retro glam I think that's what it's called. You guys know how they do. They dupe all the stuff. I believe this retails for $20 and that is out. I do have a code with them. Like I'll leave all my stuff down below. I need to do like a palette roundup. I'm telling you, it's like kind of overwhelming. I'm like, seriously, I thought palettes were dead. 
I thought palettes were dead, but maybe it was just a slump. I think I'm gonna lay down a little bit of a transitional type color in my crease. I think with this color first, just see what that lays down even. It's definitely gonna be too purple. So maybe I'm gonna do this shade actually instead. I'm even looking at this because it's a little bit warmer. Maybe I'll lay that down in my crease and then I'll go in and deepen up the outer corner with something from the Kaleidos. I just really want the industrial palette to be the star of the show, you know what I mean? I want one of those shimmers because it's an all shimmer palette to really be showing everything off even though this is more pink than I. What am I thinking? Okay, I'm going into Wilt from this palette now. <laughs> Maybe that's a better, more neutral brown. Oh yeah, that's what I should have gone in with first. I am so sorry for my chaotic energy. If you can't tell, it's like in the back of my mind, I'm sitting here like, okay, really hopeful that I don't get flooded out of my house or something. Like, I don't know how bad this like hurricane thing's gonna be. I know there's a lot of places that are probably gonna get it worse than me, so I don't know. But that's like going in the background while I'm like, excited about this makeup. Okay, look at this stunning palette, you guys. I'm so excited to get this on my eyeballs. Everything's a shimmer. Lots of different formulas in here too. Some are more sparkly, some are just like more of a satin. There's duochromes, there's flaky shades, like just a beautiful, beautiful, honestly, so beautiful luxe palette to me. If I'm being the most nitpicky, I kind of wish it was just slightly more weighted, but also it's nice that it's not too heavy. And I just think mm, it's like this perfect mix of like feeling creative, feeling high end, but being like really shimmery, but still having like wearable, you know, whatever that means, but wearable or like neutrality about it that I feel like it's still like approachable for every day for like one shadow looks and stuff. So I kind of want to do a little bit of a purpley look. Like I want to put this on my lid. So I'm going to go in. This might be called cobalt. This, I don't know what this is called, but I'm going to tap this on. It has a really silky, ooh, a silky feel and it's just gliding on so nice. I was nervous because, you know, I laid down all that powder that this would go on kind of like, I don't know, too dry, I guess. I was just nervous for that, but it is just so pretty. So pretty. If you have tons of singles and stuff from lots of indie brands in this color, like this might not be the most, you know, whatever for you, but it is so pretty to me. I really, that was so easy to put on. I'm building up the color a little bit. That is so pretty. I don't know if it's gonna do it justice on camera to be honest, but IRL, really stunning and blended out so easy, like beyond easy, very. Hmm. I wanna add from the Venus Trap, I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the outer corner and just see how that does over it. I'm gonna use the Detailed Blending Brush from Sigma, the E27. I'm going in with that like lighter, cool tone kind of gray first and just seeing how it kind of goes over it. This is a really creamy formula from Kaleidos if you've never used it. And I don't know if it's gonna layer super well on top of this shadow, cause this, the shadow I just put on, it was almost silicone-y. Like it almost felt like a cream. Like I'm telling you, I was nervous it was gonna go on too dry and like flaky, but it really just had a glide to it. Probably best with these two formulas to switch them, like do this underpainting first and then put the shimmer on top because I feel like it's blending away a little bit. So definitely have a little bit to play with to understand those formulas. But again, I feel like these are very, both shadows I'm using right now are pretty distinct. So that's probably why. I'm going into the darker shadow from that palette just because I want even more depth and I'm gonna go back over with that shadow. So I think it will work out really nicely and hopefully it'll show a little bit more of the shift that that shadow has too. I really do feel like those Kaleidos mattes though, they blend out really, really nicely. All right, now back into the Isamea Industrial Palette. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's like picking up more of the blue that's in that shadow. It's pretty. I'm just taking another brush to kind of clean up the edges. I'm gonna add some more concealer under my eye, I feel like, just to give it a clean look. I feel like I got some fallout here. This just glides on the skin so nice. This is definitely one to check out if you were interested. You know, if you were already kind of like, ooh, that sounds good, I think it's pretty good. There's this really pretty icy shade in the Isamea palette that's really like almost a wet look. And then there's another one that has like the green to it. That's so pretty. I kind of got inspired right now to do a little bit of something more colorful. So I kind of want to go into this shade here, the blue. It's like blue and purple, but it's pretty shimmery. I kind of just want to like add that 
right there. That's what I think I love about this palette. It reminds me too of the Cleona uh, Deep Sea Treasure palette that came out because it just has these types of shades in it but they're actually kind of similar in price when I think about it. Cause this was like 115 and the Cleona was like 90 something dollars. Like it was also quite expensive. So I've just been loving this and I love that. I know I'm gonna get a bit of sheerness from these so I can kind of build them up how I want to on my eyes, which I love, you guys know. I'm gonna add the really sparkly one and just see how it kind of goes on with a brush. I'm kind of okay if it's not too intense. So pretty, I hope it's like translating. Like in person, I feel like my eye look looks so good right now. All right, I feel like cause my eye look is a little bit darker than I even expected. I just wanna like add a tiny bit more concealer underneath my eyes just to kind of give it a nice amount of brightness. I'm just going in with the brush just to see how that kind of goes. I'm just adding that tiny bit more coverage there. While we're up close, before I put on mascara, I'm gonna add a little highlighter. This is also from the Chantecaille Summer. I don't know if this is gonna be an actual like highlighter highlighter, like how much it's gonna highlight. It's looking very subtle. It's also looking a little golden, so it might look a little weird with this eye look, but I wanna put this on my brow bone a little because I want something not nearly as sparkly as everything else, but it's nice sometime to kind of dust this into the brow bone. I'm just adding a little mascara so I can finish up the eyes at least, and then we can try on the lip products because that really is what I think is exciting about the new Kaleidos launch. I am obsessed with this eye look. I really love it. It's giving color, but there's a softness to it. I hope that's translating on camera how delicious and smoky the texture of this is. It's like satiny and silky and kind of, I don't know, it's just beautiful. I'm so glad I added that little bit of blue. I'm adding a little bit more. I feel like this blue is kind of similar to my blue in my palette though. I'm not gonna lie, Ocean Jewel. I'm just kind of topping off. It's just so pretty, so pretty. I really think I would, if I could do it again, I would just underpaint with the Kaleidos uh, with that powdery shadow and then layer on top so I don't have to do the double layering. But other than that, I mean, just, so, so, so pretty. I really love the way this is looking. I'm gonna powder a little bit because I feel like some of my oils are kind of coming through. It's distracting from my beautiful eye look. These I think are the kind of stunning, exciting release. I'm so excited that we're getting something juicy, something glossy, something with a little bit of sheerness. Kaleidos has done like the kind of powdery matte lip product. They're called their lip clays, I believe. We've seen tons of different shades of those and I was just so excited that we're getting glossy because I'm into the glossy lips, you guys know. So I'm gonna give you guys some swatches. So this one here is Skinny Dip. So pretty, and I really love the packaging. You know, Kaleidos kills it with the packaging. These feel heavy, these feel expensive. Like, these feel very, very nice. This one here is called Last Smoke 101. This is Pink Masqueries? I don't I don't even know how to say that. I've never seen that word before. I'm unsure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's the color 102. 103 is elixir. 104 is hot pursuit. That one has like a graziness to it. And then the last two, 105 and 106, both have a shimmer. So this one is called Free Fall, and it kind of has like a black, like a grayed base with a shimmer through it. So pretty. I'm gonna try that one on my lips for sure. And then 106 is called Penthouse, and it's more of like a magenta-y pink with, again, the shimmer. All the other ones are cream finishes. These last two have shimmer in them. Just really, really beautiful. I'm gonna clean my lips off a little. They look a little foundation-y. Um, uh, which is natural for me. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little lip liner. I'm using Spice from Jane Iredell. I just love this lip liner so much. And I'm just lightly, oh my gosh. I have like a little dry patch around my mouth. I am so sorry, guys. But I wanna try Free Fall on top of this just to see what happens. Again, it's like mostly clear, but has a tiny tinge of like grayness to it or like darkness. Even the applicator, like I've never seen quite an applicator, at least to me like this. Like I love the custom packaging. I'm telling you, these feel exciting to me, like of everything. It feels so cushiony and plush on my lips. It has a tiny bit of like, a, a darkness to it, almost like a fall clear lip, if that makes sense. Just so pretty. And they look glossy, again, they feel nice, and they have a little bit of a plumping thing going on. They have no flavor, no taste, anything like that, but I do feel like a plumping sensation once I've had them on a little bit, almost like hot sauce. But they don't have like a hot sauce taste or smell or anything, because that would like 
throw me off, honestly. Um, but definitely a little plumping as well. I'm telling you, these are the superstar of the show. I almost wish they just like launched these and maybe a, even a few more colors, like a full line. Cause I feel like the blushes, again, at least to me and my taste are like drowning out the goodness that are these products. So for the lips, I kind of want to go with 101, Last Smoke. I think that one will be really pretty. It's also kind of grazy, and I feel like since my eye sh shades are a little bit more cool toned, it'll look nice. So let me reline. I don't even think you need lip liner with these though. So pretty. I think they just got the tint right, everything. They honestly feel similar to my Ro the Rowan liquid balm glosses you guys know I love or whatever they're called, my kiss things. <laughs> they feel like that, I'm telling you plush luxe like very very nice and i feel like the colors are also really pretty they nailed the lips really really love the lips definitely the star of the collection for sure hands down okay let me get together and we can talk about some final thoughts here or not like final thoughts you know what i mean just like kind of what's going on okay i'm adding a wing actually okay my hair is honestly a mess it's more about the makeup look let's be real let me give you some closing thoughts that's what this is things that i think if you were thinking about them obviously nothing's like an actual must have but if you were thinking about them, you were like interested. The Isamea palette, it's stunning, you guys. It's so stunning. I'm so glad that I picked it up. It has me being like, what are all the other palettes like truly? Like, you know, it has me excited. So I really, really love this. I have to keep testing it. Obviously, I've used it for the first time today, but it really is giving exactly what I want it to in terms of all the different shimmery textures that are in there, all the different finishes, the slight duo chromes, all the stuff, all in one palette. Really has me excited to wear color and all of that, which, you know, I love my neutrals right now. So for that to be the case, just love it. Especially if you love one and done shadows, I feel like there are so many in here. Also, I feel like a win or definitely something to check out, the Tower 28 Concealer. I am quite liking this. I think if you want an easy, simple concealer to use that's gonna look great under the eyes, give you like medium coverage, it just looks great and looks like skin. And I love that it doesn't stay overly dewy, so I feel like it kind of self-sets and you don't have to use a powder under your eyes, which I really like. So, so far, really loving this, very promising. Love the price point too for $22. Like, I think this is a really promising concealer for sure. And then I am liking the bronzer so far from Chantecaille. Out of the two, I definitely prefer the bronzer over the highlighter. I kind of thought that was gonna be the case, but I was like, what if the highlighter's so good? Like, what if I'm missing out? I don't know if I'm missing out. If you want something super subtle, this might be amazing. I like something a little more than that, but I'll keep testing it naturally, of course. Let's talk about the Kaleidos collection uh, because, you know, the lip products to me, such a win. De I think there's something to check out. Like, I think these are beautiful. They look beautiful. They have that dark vibe going on. I love them. I think these are such quality, such quality. Let me look at price point. These are $16 a piece. I know that's not like cheap by any means, but when other brands at Sephora are charging, I don't know, $20, $25 for a lip product and their packaging isn't weighted like this, it's not custom like this. Like, I'm telling you, these feel way more expensive. Like, I'm surprised these aren't at least $20, to be honest. These, they could retail for 25 even. Like, just I'm talking about how they feel and even how they perform the formula. Really, really nice, really, really love these. The rest of the collection kind of depends. I think the eyeshadow quads are pretty, don't get me wrong. And if you don't have these colors or these are the colors that speak to you, I think they're good quality for sure and if you're interested in you know the mattes that are in here or even this like this is like a kind of shimmery black which is really pretty if these seem like colors you're gonna wear all the time I don't think you're gonna be disappointed in quality again the packaging is stunning like all of that is there if you're a huge collector if you're not looking for duplicates or very similar things you wanted something new you wanted a different color story than like coolish browns and smoky colors and purples those quads aren't serving anything really different than that like that's what you're getting with them but again i think you'll be really happy with the quality as for the blushes these are just not my style again if you're looking for those like lighter almost like k-beauty c-beauty kind of uh, blushes that's what these give they're very very light so it's just not my style personally i really wish along with these there were some other colors deeper colors things like that so um 
Um, definitely not right for me, but packaging is still really pretty. I love the look of this collection, even if this collection in terms of tones kind of looks like other collections, but I'm telling you, the star of the show, that lip, you guys, so, so good. And the plumping, I'm telling you, is just light. It's not too, too much. It's not like painful, but it is a little there. It's like the perfect amount to me, just to give those lips a little oomph. If you can't tell, I'm really into the lip products. Well, last thing I feel like I even really want to touch on, Jones Road. I'll keep you updated. I think my brows turned out okay, but I need to finesse it a little bit more, see how it is. But I'm going to end it here. I hope this was helpful. I feel like this video is going to be so long. It was a little all over the place, but I hope that the timestamps and the swatches and just kind of my thoughts on some of this new stuff is helpful. Can't wait to talk about the new releases with you, the Natasha Denona palette, the Naked palette, all the newness. I can't wait to talk about that with you. So that video will be coming. Look out for it. Thank you so much for being here though. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you guys are in the SoCal area or in the path of this tropical storm, I hope that you're staying safe. And other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.